Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kai's Regis Canada, let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're invading the CSA. It's going alright, I would say, so far, so what do we want to do? Probably get the rail expansion, because we still want to invest in these natural resources at some point in the future, for sure. We've almost pushed our way into Trenton, that should allow us to kind of unite these troops down here in Philadelphia. Never mind, the AI, I think they just kind of left the port, unfortunately. We'll see if we can at least hold this area off. Like, how close is the CSA to capitulating? We're at 53%, which isn't too, too bad. We are running out of oil, which to some might be a cause for concern, but I think it's kind of okay. We got some militias here. Blue army... What are you guys doing? The answer is not too, too much. Do something like that here. You assist this attack. One of you guys are going to push your way down a little bit more. Because we are short on motorized. We're a little bit short on light tanks as well. But our industry will hopefully start kicking up some point soon. Reinforce all these things I don't think we need to do. An emergency draft, I don't think it's necessary. A yeah, natural spirit. Makes us less popular, but it gives us 10% more stability. Um. I think it's okay. So. We have 304 political power. We should at least do something. Do we have like a plus 10% attack guy? Do a 5%. You know what? Just give me the flat 5 or flat 10%. Let's go for an infantry manufacturer here. Should be good on that. Philadelphia secured. This one troop is going to be completely dead. And at least secure the rest of uh, New Jersey here. I push out here a little bit. He's got the no organization, so we should be able to push our way through here. Take over most of uh, Michigan as well. I don't believe the CSA is going to be able to uh, win the war. Just given enough time, we should be able to prevail. Have we cut them from supplies? The answer is no, because Baltimore is controlled by the CSA. But aside from Baltimore, we actually are looking pretty all right. And from our puppet states, do you guys have any more troops that I could just happen to borrow? I think the answer to that question might just be no. Yeah, you have nobody to give us. So what use are you? The answer is basically none. We only have two weeks of oil left. So America. Uh, we do need to get some more oil off of you. Let's say, how much are we using? We are gaining 177. We're spending 800. Do I don't have any factories to trade? The answer is no, not at all. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So at some point, we're just going to run out of oil. Which definitely has some negative side effects. Uh, blue line. You be here for now. Delete you. You can probably push your way here, right? So th this should give the United States more militias that they can uh, train up. Which to me seems like a pretty good thing to offer. I don't know who's on this order. You're all here. You're here. 
push your way up north. Yeah, secure this victory. You guys push your way down towards the south. Hopefully you guys can hold this off. Yellow is looking a little bit weaker than I would like, to be fair, but... I mean, Yellow doesn't even have an attack plan, so let's at least draw an offensive line somewhere here. Same with Red, of course. Uh, just push your way down to Indianapolis. We want to be making our way down towards Chicago. Instability goes down 100... like, 0.2%. A political power gain? I really don't think is really that useful. Like, it could be a lot better. Like, that province is completely empty. I'm sure the truck can probably make here make it over here faster. Surround these two CSA troops. One of them a Marine. I'm not too sure what the Marine's plan really was here, but... I mean, what are we spending our oil on? The Air Force? Let's ground the planes for now. You're only getting 10% of the fuel that you need? Yeah, it doesn't seem very good. I actually got this around here as well, which is nice. I might actually get the overrun. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Get a crushing defeat here. Oh, not crushing defeat for us. Crushing defeat for the uh, for the CSA. We are securing Michigan. This one province it is. They're really trying to flood their way up here. It's fine if you're in like rural Ontario. I really don't care too much about that. But I would like just a little, like a little taste of oil. Like, I'm sure we have some bad penalties here, right? Like, what are our penalties for consumer goods? We're at 40%. Hindered American trade, Great Depression, partial mobilization. Things could be looking better for us. That's for sure. Like, we're still winning, right? 704,000 casualties on their side. We've lost significantly less. You might lose Washington, but I don't think that's really going to really change our position here at all. Please do not make this front line as large as you're making it. Definitely doesn't need to be. Uh, we do want some oil. Let's get fuel gain for oil a little bit up. That is an empty territory, but I don't think there's really much we can do about that. Maybe we can go in slightly into uh, North Dakota here. And how are you not dead? Because you're not technically surrounded because of the Great Lake. Lake Michigan is providing you with too much support, unfortunately. A little year ahead of time. I don't want to spend my year ahead of time on that because it's still only 1938. Like, we're not far into the game at all quite yet. I would be okay going up uh, a year ahead of time on the artillery, though. I think that is... An okay trade-off. MacArthur, not MacArthur. Um, it is uh, Olsen, right? Yeah. It's really protecting Washington, which is good for him. We definitely need the support there. As much as possible. I don't know what these troops are doing. Like, they're not going to be able to invade through Lake Erie. It's just not physically possible. Yes, Portugal, you can join up with the Entente. Which, I mean, you're going to be at war with the CSA, so I hope you're ready for that. Leaves could have worn Paraguay. I don't think that matters to us. I'm going to send, let's say, a handful of troops just to this... Just to this small little area here. You guys go over that front. Got the rail expansion... Get the next level rail expansion, then we can get some nice, desperately needed resources. Actually, what we probably could do is we can probably just abandon the American line here. And just hope that the United States can at least hold this ground for themselves. I mean, this is technically American territory, so they should be able to deal with it on their own. Theoretically, of course. Your way down here. This one militia, I'm assuming we're attacking across a uh, 
straight, which is making this uh, somewhat of a problem. And if we take Chicago, do you think that's going to be enough for them to capitulate? Probably not, right? I'd be very surprised if that turns out to be the case. Also, you... You guys just hang on to Halifax. I don't want the Marines coming over here for no good reason. Oh, I got the Commune Machine. Oh, uh, what can we do with you? 5% more research. Not too bad. Synthetic Refinery. Mm. We have a bonus of construction. You know what? Let's just get that now. Have the bonuses kind of stack up for us. Nobody likes the king right now. But, you know, that's fine. You don't need to like the king to obey the king. You just need to understand your place in the world. The so blue is moving into this territory extremely slowly. Really, everybody in this region is just going a little bit too slow for my taste. Did they take Vancouver? It looks like they might have. No, they're close to, but I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Are you worried about Vancouver? I'm not worried about Vancouver. A lot of CSA troops around uh, Pennsylvania here. That's not a huge surprise. What really is surprising is just how few troops there are around uh, Michigan here. Uh, we don't need... You're 1939. How long would this take? 270 days. So just about the end of the year. You know what? We have so many research slots right now. I think it's completely acceptable. Can you guys not strategically redeploy? No? You don't want to? That's fine, then. Not gonna worry about it. Got our support equipment. Going to 1940, that's going to be a little bit too much to ask, but... You're at 94, you're so close to just kind of falling apart. Russia is ever expanding. Can Russia still join the Entente? Uh... Do -do -do. The answer to the question is, I don't know. They might be able to, they might not be able to. Our oil supply is still pretty bad. 2% recruit population. Oh, people are... The syndicate forces have entered Canadian territory. King Edward VIII has uh, today addressed the Canadian public via radio with a grim message. He also on the rise of and fight against the CSA to resist the knowledge that this is the last stand for the British Empire. Oh, did I lose control of it, British Columbia? Okay, they did take over Vancouver, I assume, then? Yes. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get what I need to get done done right now. This is... I'm considering this to be a different front. This big red front here. Oop, no, I did it backwards. The long front just needs to be this area. Delete this blue line. You guys keep on advancing. Why are you... I feel like you guys are just extremely slow. I don't know what's making you extremely slow, but it really feels like you're just kind of... The slowest assholes on the planet. Be a little bit faster, please. Are you one of the ones with tanks? No, I was thinking maybe because there's not enough oil. Like, still can't trade with you. No, I don't have the oil necessary to make that trade go through. I don't need to be in Detroit. Okay, 
Okay, Washington's fallen, but that's fine. Um, how much, how far does that get you down to? Eh, a decent amount. But really not enough, I think, to be a problem. You really not to strategically redeploy. Could really, really help me out. Something like this. The push north is going fine. I'm thinking, like, do we just send blue to go assist red? Something like this. Tank Corps moves into Helba. You, Cavalry Division. Is this area abandoned? The answer is yeah, but it should, I think, be fine still. And we're pretty close right now. We get you to attack here. We can probably take Chicago by the end of this episode. Probably within the next minute, if we can actually just have you deploy this way. I know the CSA is probably not going to capitulate if we, just because we take the city, but... It's down to 36. New capital right now is in Cleveland. Well, we are definitely making solid progress. For sure. These American troops can only be defending against Lake Erie. As nice as it would be to be able to send troops across the lake, it's just not possible within the game mechanics. So I simply would just not worry about it. Honestly, all of blue. Make your way down here. I think the Americans, the French, everybody else who's in Canada should be able to, you know, hold this off for now. Iceland has left Middle Europa. That's good for us, maybe? Like, can we still take over the island? Now, the Exiles, Operation Plow. I'm not too sure, actually. But the CSA... I mean, Seattle's not considered a core territory of theirs, right? No, it's an occupied state, so... It shouldn't be affecting them too much. Guess so we got some of Blue Army making their way down south. I think this is solid progress. Germany and Ukraine are at war. They go cynicalist or they go the like nationalist route. Either way, they're worth the the Reichs back. So we'll see how that turns out well for them. You did take Baltimore. Washington shouldn't count towards any progress for you. As far as I'm aware at least. You are in a horrible state. Basically, no strength on you whatsoever. Like, is there anything even down here? Like, Indianapolis... Kentucky is considered American territory, so it shouldn't count against any of these penalties. Same with, uh, Iowa. And the Dakotas. So this whole front really doesn't actually help us end the war any faster. Just, like these handful of states right here. Pennsylvania, yes. And West Virginia. But I don't think West Virginia really has that many victory points in it. Like, even now, I'm just thinking. Unlock spell Canada. I don't know if we need Bell, though. 10% re research speed? That's pretty good. I like those three military factories as well. But we can't get you until we're done getting uh, British Columbia. So, you know, let's address the army. Start maybe going down the route where we are going to be able to... Yeah, you guys are just going to smash your way straight into Cleveland.
A little bit of a spread. Cleveland falling gets them down to 29%. Red can also be down here. Running out something like this. I mean, Pittsburgh's got to be important. 15 victory points. Because what's considered a capital now? Minneapolis. For 15 as well. Okay, so the war is definitely going to be going on a little bit longer than I would have liked. Delete these historical mints. Please attack like this. So now, 45, one division. So we gotta like meet up, like if we can actually meet up with yellow and make this one continuous front line as well. I almost feel like yellow, we could, we could put you somewhere better for sure. This line is not working out well for us. Like the on top putting a lot of troops in Baltimore probably hurts us more than it helps us to be honest. Take this province from you. 27. We can just walk into Pittsburgh. It's worth 15 victory points. We probably do want that. Apparently it's actually controlled by the United States. 63%. Probably we own Philadelphia over here. Yeah, so 15 looks like it's worth about 6%. Ish. Milwaukee's worth five. Madison is worth two, so that's seven there. You deploy to that front. Oh no, the CSA is actually capitulated right now. Is that an, is it enough for us to yeah twenty one? I'm assuming we took every major city from them, so that works out pretty well. So pass, 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 pass. pass. The United States, I think, just takes everything. And we should get an event basically saying, um, unite, uh, the United States with New England, and they should hopefully join up with our faction. Now we're not using any fuel things, we're looking solid. Now that we don't need to worry about war in North America, I don't, I can't, I don't believe the Americans are going to invade us. I mean, they have a large army. They could do it if they wanted to. Is there a thing after the war's over? Army recruitment, home of the free, has bypassed. An American Civil War. No part of the Entente. There should be an, uh, an event. Okay, so the refugees have uh, returned to America. We're no longer going to have Henry in trade, which should mean I actually have some factories now that I can actually use. Are there any subjects? Yeah, New England. I don't think New England's going to be part of my country for very long, so... I'll worry about that afterwards. Yeah, let's also keep suppressing the Quebecois. Seems like a solid thing for us to do. And while we are... We've still got about a year, I think, until the Second Vill Decree begins. It is time for us to begin invasion preparations. Now that the war in North America is over. Essentially get everybody to North Africa. Well, not everybody. North Af You are mostly... Yeah, you are all true from other people. So just return you all to your old uh, factions, or your old countries. You can do some more royal visits. Build Cran Corporation. That is more civilian factory. 25 political power. We will do it. Build two more. 
still not really building anything. Actually, a lot of our territory has been kind of damaged by all these very angry Quebecois people. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching my SM. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. I'll enjoy you some down. You want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.